What's up guys, The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Supermarket Tycoon, aka a game that glitches out 24-7, and why the frick are there two shelves stuck together? Mm, this is what I was talking about. Y you remember that, uh, that I had a console shelf, right? Where the frick did it go? Oh wait, it's underneath this one. So how do I solve this problem? I freaking can't. Unless I just deleted that whole thing. And look, there's tablets stacked on top of smartphones. There's smartphones stacked on top of video games. I think that video game shelf may, may be fixed now. But I, I, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. There's so much confusion that I, I don't freaking know. I'm used to stuff falling in and being out of place. But never have I seen an entire shelf disappear from where it was and wind up underneath another shelf that's uh it's a very interesting thing at least we finally got a working console shelf again though that's great um let alone okay forget about everything else not working okay we will consider this a win for the day and and just just go from there okay as i slowly rotate to try and get a better angle on this shelf here because I don't know how much we have and I've forgotten how to zoom in and out in this game that's great hold on give me a second how do I freaking do this there we go scroll wheel of course that makes sense welcome back to Casper sitting here waiting on people to come in and buy stuff from the store uh hmm as I scroll back down oh I forgot I could sell chips Ooh, let's do that why do chips not sell for as much as candy bars? That's unrealistic, okay? Chips sell for way more than candy bar. I'm just not... I've never seen a bag of chips that looks like a milk carton. That looks more like a goldfish package or like a package of cereal than chips, okay? Um, <laughs> look, okay, there's a chip bag that just got placed over there with the electronics. That's great. Um, and he's just stole my bag of chips. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for that. I really appreciated you stealing my chips. You guys are stuck over here in the corner again. I thought they said they fixed the pathing system. People are still walking into each other. And I think my game just crashed. Hmm. Oh, no, it just, it just alt-tabbed for some reason. I don't know what the frick that was. Okay. Crisis averted, I guess. We're out of video games now. We made almost $20,000 in terms of total profit. Something I never thought I would ever see. Because I thought I was going to go bankrupt again. Okay, that just went flying. Okay. Please, stop having exorcisms. I do not like those. They, they are demonic. They are evil, okay? Let's see. Uh, tablet systems again. Tablets, tablets, tablets. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. What the, Who the frick bought all the video games already? I just replenished that and it's already gone? Are you kidding me? Tablets are being stacked on top of each other. I <laughs> I'm so tempted every time I play this game to literally just delete all of my shelves and just redo them. Because it's never going to be, I won't say never, but it's not, it's probably not going to be fixed for a while. I can hold out hope though, I can hold out hope. Sorry if you hear that notification, that's TeamSpeak in the background. That's always nice to have TeamSpeak just do stuff in the back. I should have left. I'm going to have to leave now. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for that disruption of TeamSpeak. Okay, let's see. We've got this tablet standing straight up on the floor. It uh does what it wants, okay? Let it do what it wants. And once again, we enter into one of the stages, the periods, where there's no one here. And it's just me staring at the wall and the lines on the wall, questioning life in general. Okay, there's a guy. End my suffering, please. I wish you were a robber. Just shoot me. Just shoot me, please. Oh, did you buy a tablet? You bought the one that was on the floor. Good good on you. Good on you. You spent a lot of money, sir. I'm questioning what what job do you have, sir? Because you, you bought a tablet and like freaking three or four video games. What are you doing with your life right now? 
You want to buy that tablet that's stuck on t stuck on top of that smartphone, please? No? Guess not. So does the red, hold on, the red on the shelves, does that mean that it's a glitched shelf? Is that what that is supposed to be telling me? Because otherwise I don't know. Otherwise I really don't know. Um, I guess I'll wait to see if the inventory can be thrown off again and then I'll replace the shelves again. See if that helps, but I doubt it because I don't get money from deleting said shelves, so it's not... It's not like The Sims or anything like that, where if you delete stuff, you get money back. You know, once you delete these, it's like you throw them into a fire, you throw them off the edge of the map, and it just, you get nothing in return. You get absolutely nothing in return. Oh, you bought a tablet. Good on you. You want to buy some of those goldfish chips over there? Slash, uh, box of cereal? Why don't they have cereal in here? That just, that just made me totally go off track. They should have cereal. And who the frick pays $20 for a peep? Actually, no, that's not that unrealistic. I was going to say, who the frick pays $20 for a pizza? But, yeah, actually, some pizzas are like $15, depending on what size you get. So, it's not too outrageous. Still, though, $20 for one pizza? Still seems a little bit ridiculous. With nothing on the side, no chips, no soda, no nothing? Really? We're almost up to $30,000. <laughs> I can expand the store now. I'd only be left with five thousand dollars, so that's probably not a good idea. Probably not. A, can you guys get the frick out of this little pathway here? Move. Thank you. Get out of the way. There's a robber. Please end my life. Shoot me in the face. That's all I'm asking. Just do it. Don't know. I I don't want you to steal anything. Just steal steal my life. I don't know what the frick you people are doing. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm going to delete the video game shelf real quick. As I placed another video game on it when I was trying to do... What the... Mm. Oh, the frustration is real right now. Okay. Uh, delete that. What the... Mm. I can't delete the shelf. I can't get rid of it. Never mind. It's stuck there forever. You know, when people think about uh, the way they want their store to be placed some people do plan for the future I'm not one of those people apparently because this is not going to be a very welcome sight to just come in and see this and then like there's the rest of the store back here that's just <laughs> like a whole different thing at this point now yeah I didn't plan I didn't plan ahead okay don't blame me for that blame the game blame the game oh that went flying and that disappeared, and that one stacked on top. Okay. Uh, I seriously want them to fix this game. I feel like it would be fun if it actually worked properly. But since it doesn't, it's really aggravating in a lot of different ways. Because when I see stuff stacking on top of each other, and I know that's not supposed to happen, and then there's stuff flying all over the place, I can't even really keep a very, a very good-looking stock, you know? Display. Ah, oh, frick, I put the wrong thing there. You know, your display is everything. You know, visuals. When people walk in the store, they don't want to see tablets stacked on top of each other and thrown all across the floor. They want to see nicely and neatly stacked objects sitting there waiting for them to purchase. That's what they want to see. That's what I'd like to see. But I don't get to see that because this is what I get to see instead. This right here. That. That right there. That's all I get to see. Now, <clears throat> let us replenish uh, the chips over here, I guess. Oh, they're falling off the shelf. That's that's nice. Candy bar butter sticks back again. See how many I can put of these here. God, that shelf looks nasty. It looks horrible. It looks really bad. <laughs> If I went in here, if I went into a store and I saw a shelf that looked like this, I think I'd walk back out. <laughs> like, ew. Look at that shelf. Oh my god. That is horrible. Absolutely disgusting. Don't let Gordon Ramsay come in here. I mean, it's not a restaurant, but don't let him come in here. He'd be very disappointed in what I was doing. So look, there's now a candy bar on top of the freaking tablet. I didn't put that there. Or it accidentally got placed there. Maybe I should just let my entire store sell out of stuff. 
and just go from there. I feel like that might be the next best thing. I always say I'm going to do it. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not speeding up time. I should be doing that. Make these days go by a lot faster, okay? Um, $70,000 that we've... Wait, what? Hold on. This thing has said money out. Oh, okay, I get it now. I was going to say, wait, isn't that backwards? <laughs> but no, it's just, it's there. Money in 70000 So we've made a profit of about $23,000. Actually, more than 23000 now. Um, so that's not too bad. Like I said, the first time we went bankrupt. So this is, this is going much, much better. Can you make up your mind, blue man? Do you need the rest of your group to come in and help you? No? Okay, good. You can make a decision by yourself. Okay. Anyone want to come literally fix this nasty shelf over here? I mean, seriously, I'm tired of looking at it. And I don't want to delete it because then everything's going to fall to the floor. So, someone else help me with that, please. Anybody want to come in the stall mart, please? I seriously need someone to go out and advertise for me. Because I'm not, apparently I'm not doing a good enough job. He's undecided like Mr. Blue Man. Oh, look, Blue Man's back. Why don't you all come in a group? You know, Blue Man group. There, there's supposed to be like two or three more of you, right? Only one's coming in at a time. Buy those freaking chips that are hanging off the side of that shelf, please, if you will. Uh, of course not. Of course not. Hey, well, you bought a console and some chips, but not the chips that I wanted you to buy. Yeah. Getting close to 30000 in profit. That's good. That is good. And once again, the lonely days. Maybe I should hire a guard now. To keep me company. Then again, am I going to make $100 a day to, to suffice for having him there? Because that was a mistake we made in the first one. But I mean, I have $30,000, right? So I have to make enough for, for a guard to be there. Of course. I could expand. I wonder, considering how glitched out this game is, what if I like expand the store and the whole store blows up? I have a feeling that might happen. I'm kind of tempted to do it right now. <laughs> Just to see what the frick happens. Just expand the store. You know what? After the next couple set of purchases, I'm going to I'm going to expand the store. I'm going to see what the frick happens. Okay? Well, we're going to see this, okay? All right, you guys buy up your last couple things. 34,066. All right, we might be left with about 10,000 after the store expansion, depending on what this guy gets. He still can't make up his mind. Okay. Well, okay. Let's expand the store. Oh. That was a lot more seamless. Than that. Look at where everything is, though, now. You have this huge freaking store. <laughs> and look at where the shelves are. Right in the very front of the store. People walk in and just walk straight into it. Like, the placement of everything in this store right now is just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I don't want to talk about it. it. It came from a previous time, okay? Don't, don't, pay no attention to the, uh, to the emptiness that is my store right now, okay? Don't, don't think about it. Don't think about it too much. Just like your purchase that you're thinking about way too much right now. Just... Buy something, god dang it. Buy something. And get out. Thank you. Ooh, 13,000. We sold out of tablets. I'm getting rid of this freaking shelf. Get that crap out of here. I can't delete it. It's still stuck there again. That's great. <laughs> I've expanded my store, yet I'm still going to be stuck with the remnants of what the previous store looked like. Because this same outline is stuck here. Because I can't get rid of the shelves. And I just opened up Internet Explorer accidentally. Oh my freaking god. There we go. Oh. Jesus Christ. Help me. Help me. I don't know what to do. I can't get rid of the shelves. Is it because there's still things on them? I can't delete any of the shelves. None of them. I bet I could delete this one. Nope, never mind. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be the ugliest looking store that you've ever seen in your life. Okay, the ugliest store. The ugliest 
most unorganized store in the history of stores. Video up. Oh, okay. Stacking on stop on top of each other again. That's always nice. I think I'll open my grocery department now. Cause why not? I mean What would pizzas need? Do they need refrigerators? I I doubt it. Maybe canned food? We can sell some canned food. You know, storms and hurricanes and crap are coming through. People need some canned food. We can sell some clothes. Do clothes have to be on shelves or displays? Maybe I can turn it into a clothing store. I think I'd like that. Oh, these were tablets, right? Let's see if they fly off the shelf again. Oh, they're stacking. They're stacking. And I can't even place another one there. Okay, well, you know what? Leave it at that. <laughs> Leave it at that. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay. Uh, let's get another display. I'm going to throw it back there. To give them a little walking lane there. And I'm going to see where these clothes go. Those are chips. Clothes. Oh. Look at how nicely... The, oh. Oh. Okay, well those are meant to look like that. Um. I don't know what these are. Specifically. They, they look like... I don't know what they look like. They look like they look like pillows, or like seat covers with just a line through it. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. Anybody want to buy some clothes? Yeah, go back there and buy some clothes. It's gonna be the next best thing in this store. Freaking video game store with clothes in the back. Like who the frick thinks of this? Who was the visionary that had this idea? Came up with this amazing idea? Okay, me. Twas I. I want to do. What else do I want to do? Do I want to do more another clothing display? Or do I want to start, like I said, my, my grocery department? I could do a grocery department, right? You wouldn't want to put pizza in a fridge, though, would you? I mean, you want it to be hot. Fridge is $1,500. Increases food quality. Mm. I'm just going to buy a shelf and put uh, put some canned food on it. I forgot how to rotate this stuff, too. Oh, R. There you go. I'm gonna just throw it back here. Buy a whole bunch of canned food and throw on there. Now we are a, an electronic store that sells clothes and canned food. Okay? Yeah. We're doing a good job, okay? I'm prepared for the next episode that I record for this shelf to be glitched out to and just add to my disappointment. Oh, joy. I love how they all went up to the shelf as if something was there. There's nothing there yet. Give me an opportunity. Give me a chance to do this. I can't even find the canned goods anymore. Oh, there. Wait. I just missed it. There it is. Canned food. Are those baked beans? Those look delicious, okay? Not even gonna lie. It looks really good. I'd like me some baked beans right about now. I don't even think that's baked beans. I can't even zoom close enough to see what that freaking is, though. Ew. Actually, that looks nasty. It looks like some nasty spaghetti don't even look people what the frick the shelf is already gone i just put that there this reminds me of freaking working at lowe's yesterday where we put out water and because the hurricane is coming like literally the water went out and like a couple minutes later it was gone like <laughs> being witness to that was pretty scary it was like an angry mob of people just just getting water give them a give them some pitchforks and my god Give them some pitchforks and uh and some torches. They could have been angry mob. Yeah. We had lines, at, as if there was as if we had released a freaking a new freaking iPhone. That was how bad it was. <laughs> that was how bad it was. All right, let me do the game consoles again. Okay, there we go. Hey, do you have to steal my canned food though? Seriously, that's our new thing. Don't come in here stealing my canned food. Come on, cut me some slack, man. I can't. It's not placing over there. There. Finally. Tablet. Replenish the stock here. If it doesn't fly off the shelf, which it kind of is doing. I don't. Okay. Uh, close. Replenish our stock of that real quick. They're leaning on each other. They're leaning in all different directions now. The leaning tower of clothes. My canned food display is already gone. That's nice. Let's replenish this again then. 
This is a big hit, okay? People love canned food. Give them enough canned food and, and they will be happy. Now more people should be coming into my store because I have more than electronics. Now I have clothes, canned food. What else do you need in a store at this point? But I'm going to end it here, guys, as Red Man comes in. And I will see you in the next one.